trap number seven. From number five and number six, you may have thought that present participle or past participle acting as a noun modifier is a problem. No, that's not the case. Remember, it's all about the meaning. And yes, a participle acting as a modifier can very often be the correct usage when the meaning is such. Let's understand this through a GMAT-like question. Please pause the video and solve it. Look at the construction here. You have a modifying phrase here referring to a noun. After the comma, the noun is the Indra Gandhi International Airport. After this, we have some extra information between two commas from here to here. What is the role of this extra information? To tell something about the airport. Airport spread over such and such area. We have a quality of the airport being talked about, spread over so much area, and you have an and here, a conjunction. So the information that follows must be similar to the information that precedes. You have a quality here, spread over such and such area, so after and also we need a quality. Therefore, while it may sound a bit awkward to read, the correct usage here is resembling. See, we need to read it this way. Airport spread over such and such area airport resembling the Amsterdam airport, we see resembling here is a present participle, and it is acting as a noun modifier, resembling something. And yes, the meaning is such that we want the present participle here to act as an adjective, a noun modifier. So it's not that present participles or past participles acting as noun modifiers is always incorrect. It all depends on the meaning, and therefore we had our trap number seven here. Participles acting as a noun modifier can very well be the correct usage. This was the concept, friends. GMAT shots are deliberately kept brief. For an elaborate explanation, please watch the Stage 1 conceptual videos in our program. Thanks for watching.